Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My fellow brothers and sisters Ramadan is just six days away You know um, This is really a privilege you know, By Allah For us even to come to this stage Thinking about six days Where are others that we did Ramadan with last year Even us, we are not sure whether we would be there but I just want to recall on our attention on the bonuses of Ramadan, what Allah has done for us. Because whatever we are doing, Wallahi al -Azim, it has nothing to do. It would not add anything to Allah. It's all for us out of His generosity. So please, let's try to utilize this opportunity and do whatever we could to be good people, good servant, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because wallahi this life is nothing life is short we just whatever we would do we try to make sure that what we are doing is something that would be remembered or something that would be a beacon of reward for us inshallah in the hereafter or wherever we are see I mean you mustn't be rich or you mustn't be uh, you mustn't be uh, satisfied 100% but you just have to be content to be able to help help yourself please Allah he does I think Ramadan has been designed just for us for us to help us to help us get to Jannah as easy as possible because see whatever act of good that you did or you do it's going to be double reward than the normal month of the year Allah subhanallah so this is to show you how Allah really loves us but we are the one that sometimes don't really see that love we stay far away and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the more you come closer to me the more if you take a step closer to me I'll take 10 steps closer to you subhanallah who on earth could do that to you Please let's look at all these opportunities, use it wisely and inshallah um, life would be great at the end of the day. Even the peace itself that you would get from the dunya, it's everything. Please take advantage of this, any act of good. You can visit people in the hospital, you can help people, you can give something, some sadaqah, you can be kind to people. A kalima to tayyiba to sadaqah is enough, even talking nice to people, even smiling, subhanallah, everything, everything that you see in this world, wallahi is designed for you to be able to get to Jannah if you use it wisely. You can share knowledge, you can share anything that you see that is good. As simple as, as simple as, what do you call, as simple as, let's say, a good video, a reminder even itself. So everybody is important, everybody is useful at the end of the day. I pray that may Allah make it easy for us, may Allah accept our ibadat, may Allah clear our intentions. Always because everything that we do, we have to make sure that our intentions are clear because that's the basics. If your intentions are not clear, whatever you do, it's going to be in vain because Allah would not accept it. Because that means it's more like an act of riya or whatsoever you may call it. So try to change your niya in namal amal bin niyat. Work on that first. Then work on the acts of the ibadah, inshallah. And pray may Allah help us. Because it's not easy and Jannah is not easy if you want the best you gotta be the best if you want the best you gotta work for the best I wish you all the best may Allah make it easy may we be may we witness Ramadan may we enjoy the all the kairat it will come along with Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Wallahi we should thank Allah for Islam, we should thank Allah for the beauty of life. We should thank Allah for whatever comes our way, whether it is good or bad, is good from Allah because Allah doesn't do what is evil. He always do what is good for you. It's either to make you strong, it's either to, you know, it's either to make it a way of forgiving you, your sins. Subhanallah. Please, let's go back to Allah. Allah loves us. We should try. Try our best. Take the opportunity.
use it wisely we are six days away start changing yourself from now make a wish list of bad behavior sit down you have to understand yourself first understand what are your weaknesses and how are you going to fix those weaknesses what are your strengths so and how are you going to reflect on yourself and make sure whatever you do during ramadan is something that would stay with you forever at least try to take something out of it something that will change you to help you get to where you want to go that is jannah al firdaus inshallah and of course we need to seek for a lot of forgiveness seek for forgiveness seek for forgiveness seek for forgiveness as take for lawa to be please do it start now start now get your spirit get your spirit ready get your mindset ready for ramadan you know witness ramadan if you witnessed it do it as if it will not come back to you it do it as if you would not you would not see it again because nothing is nothing is permanent in this life nothing whatever opportunity you have use your all pour your heart and do your best and allah will do the rest for you so i wish you all the best and i pray may allah make your life easy may allah protect you may allah guide you and may Allah grant you whatever that you had desires, the kair that you desired. And of course, may Allah call you to his lovely home, Mecca, inshallah. I wish you all the best. Take care. Ma'as-salama.